Last time I left off on this ledge, let's see if I can get over there. Uh, yes I can, with no problem whatsoever. You know, my guide said that you needed the glide move to get over here. And I found out later that that wasn't true, but I th seem to remember it only being possible with Super Banjo turned on. Why is it so easy to get over here? Or better question, why did the guide think that it wasn't so easy to go to get over here? I guess that'll just be a mystery for the ages. So, whatever, let me just get some extra eggs. And... Uh, we can finally get to properly exploring the factory now. Or, wait, yeah. Banjo can do something alone. I'll do that. It's over here in the trash compactor. Which, I think you can cheese it. Let's find out. Uh, I need to get up here, which I can't. Yeah, the double jump makes a lot of stuff possible that wasn't supposed to be. Uh, yeah, these are the... I think they're called the skivvies. They're just the sad rabbits because they're all dirty. And that makes them sad for some reason. I guess because they'll get punished. So you have to clean their clothes and it's very annoying to do that. So yeah, this is the trash compactor and... Uh, basically, it, what you want to do is not get squished by those things, but avoiding that is, I think, pretty much impossible, so you just pretty much have to get hit by them. I'm going to see if I can jump over it, though. Oh, wow, it was. I just had to make enough stupid noises. But yeah, basically, you're just supposed to get squished and then heal with the snooze pack, like with the stomp on it on. But apparently, that's not necessary if you abuse the double jump. So, yes, it is in fact possible to cheese it. You still need the snooze pack to do the stomp on it on thing, but with Super Banjo, you can just barely make it between the footprints without getting a hit, so... You technically don't need it for that either, which I think makes it the one completely skippable move where you can still get all the items with if you skip it. Let's see, there's the train station, um... There's the workers' quarters, I'll head in there. Once I get Kazooie back, I've already been in the waste disposal plant. I'm trying to remember if there's anything else here on this first floor. There's the air conditioning plant, but I don't want to go in there because I can't really do anything in it yet. So, workers' quarters it is. Service elevator, uh, you can't take. The yeah, only mechanical personnel can take it. Can we guess what the transformation is for this level? It's very stupid. Anyway, uh, there's... Just heard a fart. There's the camera. Let's see what we got in here. There's a mirror, which people seem to think has some sort of weird purpose. I don't know where they got that idea from, but... If you do that, a, a Kazooie head comes out of the mirror. It's a bit strange. Here's a fridge with various rare logos on it. Um, the camera came back. God damn it. Here's another one of these guys. Here's a secret room. What does this say? I don't care. I already know where they all are. Helpful, but I don't need it. Uh, let's not get killed here. God damn it. Okay, let's let let's do get killed here, apparently. I need some gold feathers. I can't even shoot these things from the door. Not very well anyway. Oh, for the love of crap. Okay, can I get the camera? Anyway, you may have heard some bathroom noises coming from a bathroom. What a surprise. It's Logo! The random toilet from the first game. And in the typical disgusting fashion, you have to unblock him. 
because someone was using some unorthodox toilet paper, apparently. He only likes the quilted stuff. Yeah, let's just get that. At least we don't have to go inside the toilet this time. And, uh, this door... Yeah, you can get some random disgusting messages from that doorway. Well, anyway, let's get out of there and hopefully find something with less potty humor. Um... Yeah, I guess I better just head up. I don't think there's anywhere else I can go. I'm trying to do this methodically, because even though this is one of my favorite levels, and I basically know where everything is, it's still pretty easy to get lost, because this place is massive. Much like Pterodactyl Land, except in a different way, I guess. And you need lots of grenade eggs in this level, because of all the stupid sniping you have to do. Anyway, I think that's it for the first floor, so let's head up to the second one. I don't get that transition there. Is there... Somewhere, there's a camera in one of those stupid, like, nooks in the wall. I don't remember where it is. Um, elevator, can't use that. Window with a thingy behind it. Globo three inches away from Mumbo's skull. Or... Lumbus Wigwam, I'm in. That'll lead, uh, somewhere. Nowhere that I can't get to otherwise. You go away. That only give me two? I thought they gave you three. Maybe the evil ones only give you two. I've never paid attention to that. And, like a moron, I forgot to take out the camera. Oh, well, not a huge problem. Well, it is if I'm going to be picking up shoes that I don't need. Um, where do I want to go? This, uh, no, I'll rather, I'd rather go in the other place. Let's avoid getting assassinated. I have an awful lot of random security in this building, anyway. And I don't think it shown its purpose yet, what this building is used for. It's very stupid. Anyways, there is in fact a move that Kazooie can get here, so... Or somewhere around here, anyway. Cheeto page, can't reach it. Um... Just picking up these notes. Here's the other door you can blow up. It just That's basically just a shortcut that you'll need to use sometime later. I'll get that other note in a minute. Can I get over here? Yes, but I screwed it up. And I'm gonna die if I don't get out of the... God damn it. What is it with that happening lately? Okay, let's not do that. Yeah, you're supposed to go into the other room, get the shoes, come up, eh don't need to, apparently. So now we get the leg spring. It's a stupid move, because you already knew it before. That was not a good song that I just sang. It's, it's the exact same thing as the backflip with banjo, except now you can do it without banjo. Why you had to learn that, I'm not entirely sure. But... Yeah, it lets you go pretty high. And... That's it. It's useful, sure, but, like, it's certainly not an interesting move. Like I said, it's something that you should have just had from the start, but I guess they wanted you to have a bunch of moves to get. There's a lot of moves between the two games, so I can see why they were starting to get a little bit uncreative with a few of them. It's excusable. So anyways, I got me a battery, and uh, let's try and not die here. If I can even see where I'm supposed to land, I just had to make a leap of faith there. Yeah, I thought that was supposed to be acid, not monster-infested sludge. The bright, horrible, acid greenness kind of implied that it was in fact acid. But what do I know? This is the electromagnet chamber, okay. I do not believe there's anything of note that I can do in there yet. 
but I'll check just in case. I can at least show what you can't do, and that is push down this button. You need to be heavier to do that. You need to be mechanical personnel to do that. And... There is a noticeable lack of mumbo switch here. Mumbo pad, I mean. There's the little bugger. Gonna have to drop that later on. Uh, that... Oh, that's just the non-mechanical ele elevator that leads between floors and really doesn't have much of a purpose. I might go into it at some point, but don't expect it. So anyway, I'm out of time, and I didn't really do much in this segment, but whatever. See you next time for more Factory Wonderment.